Oh look, there he goes, right to the table. There you go Nate, pull yourself up. Come though Nate. He's standing up. Very good baby boy. You did it. And I'll buy himself too. <laughs> oh, Nate. You're okay. Ha 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 ha. Nate fell down. Ashley, that's not very nice. What happened? He's okay mom. He just tried standing himself up on the coffee table again and lost his balance. Okay. Well I'll go ahead and take him now Jess. It's time for his nap. Well mom, Heather and I are gonna head over to Thierry's now. We'll be back later. Alright, you girls be careful. Always are. It's still crazy to think that I'll be starting junior high in a couple of months. But at least we'll be going to the same school again. I know. That'll be awesome. Unfortunately, I'll also be going to the same school as certain other people. Well look who I find here, it's Dumb and Dumber. Speak of the devil. I know. Everything was just fine, until Ember Part 2 showed up. Oh hell no. Nah. Don't even mention that biatch in the same breath as me. I've had enough of her and her attitude, like. Oh look at me, I'm Amber and I'm so friendly and perfect now. Please be nice to me. Why don't you just leave us alone, Nicole? Yeah, I don't want you messing up my summer. It's bad enough that I'll have to see you at school. Oh you have no idea how much power I held over the 7th grade. And that's why Amber's out of the picture. She couldn't handle the fact that I overtook her and became the more popular one. And once I start 8th grade, I'll rule the whole school. And I'm gonna enjoy making school hell, for incoming 7th graders. You're touching me you know. Look Miss Fang, you're nobody special, and you don't rule anything. You're just another C average student, who's hardly noticed, by anyone. In other words, you're a loser, who thinks she's a winner. Ha. Huh. That's a great way of putting it. She's a loser who thinks she's a winner. Bad choice of words. Hey Nicole, you better back off. You may think you're the queen of the school, but take a look around you. We're not in school now, so get off their case. Oh go away Amber, you bore me. Not until you leave Heather and Jessica alone. Oh and who are you, their mother? You know they don't even like you, so I don't know why you're defending them. This isn't about them. This is about me being sick of you treating everyone like they're beneath you. But you know what? I suppose I should be thanking you. At first, I thought we were like peas in a pot. But seeing the way you were behaving, and treating everyone, it was like looking into a mirror. It made me get a good hard look at my own behavior. And frankly, it embarrassed me. Thinking I had all these people adoring me when in reality, they despised me. What's your point, Ember? My point? Oh, I don't know. I think it was something along these lines. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Ember? Put me down, now. No, Ember. You better not even think about it. Oh, damn. Yeah, what you said. And here. We glimpse a very rare species of nerd girl, in its natural environment. Oh shut up. You really did it now. Talk to the hand. You hear me Amber? This isn't over. You just wait until school starts. By the end of the first week, you'll be begging your parents to transfer you to another school. Yeah whatever, your threats mean nothing. Hey Amber. Wait. I gotta say, even though you totally jacked my move, that was one awesome dunk. Oh it was nothing. She had it coming anyway. Even so, I really like how you stood up to her like that. That was awesome. 
Yeah, it really was. And you. That's so nice of you to say. Now I see that you really have changed. And that makes you cool in my book. I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh, don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Ember. Um, Heather and I were gonna hang out at the park for a little while. Wanna join us? Really? Yeah. It really would be cool to hang out with you again, Amber. Sure. Awesome. Let's go.